Hello, book lovers. And adventurers. Everywhere. My name is Jess. And I'm MC. And this is Is CamCat Unwrapped. Unwrapped. Previously on CamCat Unwrapped, Into the Margins. My name is Alexander James. I'm Elijah Manchaka. I am Jordan H. Bartlett. This room is now filled with this putrid black smoke that is attacking you. These big claws rip at you, like made out of smoke and bone. Wham! Grab you with one hand, pick you up, throw you, bounce you off the floor. Come with me if you want to live. (laughs) Daffodil Pickle, even though you don't know her name, is pulling you out. You're able to wriggle free of this thing's teeth before you can feel it try to swallow you. A head opens up ten times larger than the griffin and boom, snaps shut. Oh no. Uh, I'm just force blasting this thing. A body, wham, falls down into your living room. Uh, (laughs) This other you gets up, grabs you by the shoulders and says, Whatever you do, say no. Josh, you're coming with us. The fate of the world rests on your shoulders. The fate of my afternoon rests on me staying here. But there is something. It destroyed both of my We need your help. Uh, uh, Finally, we're all convened. Welcome, heroes, to the margins. This is Helga, our editor. And she will tell you what we're doing here. Yes, we have a long journey ahead of us. Let's get started. Yes, we are back. You've met Helga the Ladybug. And uh, yeah, so she's talking to you. This little ladybug. That's talking. Jackson Phoenix, that's kind of par for the course. Magical little being. Josh, this ladybug is talking to you. (laughs) What's the scale? What's the scale of this fucking ladybug? Are we talking one to one? Uh, it's a little bit bigger. It's like the size of like a cockroach-sized ladybug. I will try to slap it out of <laughs> that angel's hands because what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Not like no. To be to clarify, not to like squish the bug, but I think just an instinctive like. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. Roll a uh, roll an attack. Roll a melee attack. Add your strength. Uh, uh, roll a nat one there, MC. Nat one. <laughs> yeah. Probably for the uh, best. Probably so, for the best. Yeah, um, you nice remember when you, you when you said uh, you were going to throw up, it's just a matter of when? Yeah. You uh, instinctively go to uh, move your hand. Instead of slapping, your hand comes up, and then you just uh, all over nice. your hand, and then all over your shoes, and then you slip in it, and you fall into Phoenix's dried blood. We designated Fantastic. a spot, Josh. <laughs> He's in the I love spot. That. Right on the landing zone, baby. Uh, yeah, uh, Helga's is... Oh, dear. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mallory, um, this is a bit of a shock to you, I'm sure. Uh, Phoenix and Jax, you do come from uh, realms where magic and mysticism are par for the course. Uh, Phoenix, you know, artificer as yourself, you're well versed in these. Jax, you've witnessed the power of griffins and the power of, of what is in Alethia. I have never seen a talking ladybug before. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, welcome. This is, uh, yes, all, a little new to everyone, but particularly new to Josh in here. Let me just, and the ladybug opens the little wings and vroom, up, a uh, little golden uh, sparkly dust flies after it as it flies over and then places a little ladybug hand on your forehead, Josh. Uh, you are suddenly very calm and understand that this is, that magic is real. Uh, that uh, things are way broader than you could have ever been and uh, could have un- understood on Earth that there are other worlds that, you know, multi-world theory is real, that mad- all the books you've read are real to an extent, um, and you're okay with that. That's all right. You don't know why don't know, it's all right. I don't know what you got in the other leg, but I'll have a hit of that, too. <laughs> oh, well, this one's just, and she just gives you a little pat on your head. Yeah, that one's That's just good like... Lad fantasy oxycodone and that was pretty sweet well now we're all caught up there uh welcome everyone to the margins um this is a place safe from all extra dimensional threats such as the being known as feast uh that big cloud of smoke that uh, unfortunately ate your worlds um 
It, it is uh, rather drab. This uh, I would have preferred to meet you all under better circumstances, but this is the best we've got, as you are our uh, reigning champions, the only ones left who have defeated these uh, foes before, because Feast is not working alone. Uh, you see, it is a hound uh, at the beck and call of a version of the Council of Four and the Cult of Stars. Uh, this is going to be a little bit to take in, but you're not the only versions of you that exists. Uh, you're actually not even the That's most right. real versions of you that exist. That's a little offensive. I've always <laughs> felt like an NPC. <laughs> Well, you are the protagonists of your stories, but you're not the final versions of your stories, and that is where uh, we have some trouble. Uh, you see, your oppositions, the Cult of Stars, the Council of Four, the Sons of Silos, Feast, uh, all of these entities uh, in one version of your stories uh, learned about the other worlds that exist. They learned that uh, their were other versions of themselves and other versions of you. And in their versions of the story, the ones that you are going up against now, they beat you. Jax, in the world that this Council of Four comes from, you died in Alethia. Uh, Phoenix, in this world where the Cult of Stars comes from, you and the Starbreakers failed to defeat the Dread Knight and were killed after Angel fell first, and then the rest subsequently. Um, Josh, you never had a revelation. You fell, you were eaten by feasts, and your shade joined his cult. Without you, your worlds, those worlds fell to ruin. Uh, the Council of Four appointed Hera as queen. Uh, the, the, the Cult of Stars uh, spread their influence and opened a doorway to summon a Starborn. But instead of a Starborn, they found the very, very well-fed feast in its place. With, and Silas leashed this being, and then they realized that there were other worlds, and that in most of those worlds, they lost. They were not satisfied with their victory, as it is. So they went and conquered the other worlds where you re succeeded and used feast to consume them. They found Freya and feast refused to consume that world because it rather enjoyed the power that Silos utilized, that fear that him in the undercourt propagated is an excellent feeding source for Feast. This, this is an entity that feeds off of fear. Um, so the Council of Four made an alliance with the Cult of Stars and went and consumed every other version of your stories. It's trying to change the final draft. I feel like I'm talking to a bunch of Eondrans. Yeah, so really really quick, how many how many other sort of like writing metaphors have you wrapped up into this fantasy hallucination parchment house? Just sort of like we're in the margins, you're the like this is all cool. Don't but disrespect like... the editor. No, I'm no, so no, 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 I am so no, very sorry. It's it's okay. I, you are a character in a story, Mr. Mallory. You are actually not even your published version. You are the penultimate drafts, uh, the most solid forms that are still malleable. You see, we would get your most potent forms of yourselves, the final drafts, your published iterations, but they are locked in stone. They are set in their ways. Their story is told until it is destroyed and unwritten by feast and these others, and once they destroy all the realms, they will be the only versions of your stories left, making them canon. We can't have that. Um, so we're in the trial phase of experimentation. Yes. We can still make fine tunes to the mechanism so that we are working. Okay. No, well, yes, yes. No, Jax is entirely correct. In, in the, uh, you are not the fully constructed uh, machination. You are uh, the final prototype before it becomes, before it is built and no longer editable. 
Uh, All right. So, excluding me? excluding any questions of existential dread that I'm assuming we all have, what do we do now? Well, there's a, a great a yes. There's a great number of things you can do. Uh, you need to stop the Cult of Stars, the Council of Four, and Feast. Feast is currently almost Big. unbeatable. Big and bad and scary. Yes, uh, it needs to be weakened, it, since it's... How? It feeds off of fear, right? It uh, currently is well-fed by its realm being under its full control, uh, the Freyan realms uh, being locked in fear from the Undercourt and from the tyranny of the Council of Four, and uh, Asher is uh, a great source of fear as well as the Cult of Stars and all of the people that you put away with the Starbreakers Phoenix run rampant and uh, it's what remains of Asher is not an ideal place to live in. So currently it is feeding off of all three realms, uh, making it stronger than it's ever been. But if you quell that fear in these people, if you find a way to break them out and insp- instill hope in them, then Feast should be weak enough for you to dispatch entirely, and then no more realms will be consumed, and better yet, it should regurgitate whatever realms it has swallowed. In theory. We get to We've go never home. done this before, so... <laughs> Who knows what's really gonna happen? So, sorry. <clears throat> yes. Sorry. Uh, just to cl- just to sort of, like, high-level summary, we mm. need to somehow turn the tide of fear against three separate worlds... Being, being the, sort of the rough draft heroes. Is that what I'm getting? Is that what you're sort of putting down? Yes, exactly. Well done. She gives you another little Great. Yeah, I'd love a fucking recommendation about where to start, Madam Ladybug. Okay, well, there's no need for that kind of language. Um, I apologize. <laughs> uh, she says, well... Freaking out over here. I'm sorry. I, I, MC, I may I? Um, you, if I don't have this ability yet... So, Josh is looking quite... Fearful. Is he within 10 feet of me? Uh, he is not currently. He's kind of like over in a pile um, of just like <laughs> badness. Uh, but you can step <laughs> over to him. Uh, you are, uh, you do have these paladin abilities. Now, as soon as you stepped into the margins, uh, you felt this power rise inside of you. Uh, so yeah, you uh, step over to him and suddenly Josh, <laughs> as soon as this, Jax is 18, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, as soon as this 18-year-old uh, walks within 10 feet of you, suddenly your heartbeat steadies, you find yourself grounded. You're not terrified anymore. You, there's, there's this wave, like, emanating aura of hope and uh, calmness radiating off of a child, but still. You are the chillest high school senior I've ever met. <laughs> well... Thank you for whatever that may mean. Um, yes, we can do this or else we'll die trying. But either way, we'll we'll do our best. That's the spirit. Uh, if, if uh, Josh, if you would still like a recommendation, I would uh, say that uh, you should start in uh, this sort of fallen version of Freya, um, destabilizing the Sons of Silos and the Cult of Stars, uh, would be a, a great way to uh, sort of kick things off. Uh, you'll need allies, of course, as Jax, I'm sure you know. Uh, a, a queendom cannot be ruled by three people in a dream. Um, Currently, or at least when I last checked, uh, it's been hard to find recent ongoings in these places, but from when I last saw, uh, Hera was still queen uh, and is sort of operating as a pawn of the council and her mother. Um, Perhaps you could start with her, try to sway her in your favor and with her resources, maybe... Uh, turn the tide of war against the Sons of Silos and give hope to a rebellion that was happening, last I checked. Uh, Again, it's been a while. And then you can go to Asher, 
Uh, there's a rebellion full force there. Again, last time I checked, hidden out somewhere in Relgin, uh, Phoenix. Uh, but then there's the big tear, the rift that connects all of these stories, all these worlds and realms to each other in Lorraine. Uh, that is where the cult of stars is sort of set up. Um, post. Uh, and, and Do we know who's running that? Allies. Do we know Do who's I... running that rebellion in Relgin? <sighs> Last I knew, um, Dahlia was uh, keeping things uh, moving around out of uh, the uh, her tavern, you know, tunnel porting all over the place. Um, but when I last had contact with Asher, uh, none of the Starbreakers were around, um, and it was a pretty meager force. Uh, but things may have changed. It's been a good many months of time there since I was last bid access. Great. Okay. And then we presumably we save the place where this thing came from for last. And Josh, you've slayed this beast before. How did you do it last time? Um, again, sort of like victory, uh, triumphed over, won. All of these are very big words <laughs> compared to what actually sort of happened. I'll tell you on the way, um, I have ramen coming to my house in sort of like a tight, a tight 45. So um, we need to go. Um, if I may jump in, um, a wise and mighty Helga. Um, Flies over onto your shoulder. I can join you if you would like on these missions but uh really my place here is here in the margins to help maintain the barriers as the assistant editor um but one thing that i can do for you is you can call upon me whenever you need a little extra help i can grant somebody bardic inspiration okay um during this time as a child of the college of creation um I can also um, use my editor's apprenticeship power, um, which allows me three times during your ordeal to grant an instant success or instant failure to any role. Um, and yeah, I can come along if you would like. I do believe my my um, I, I might be more useful to help maintain the barriers in the margins. But if you'd like me to come along, that is a uh, hero's choice. <sighs> You're the only one of us who's actually I, been I to multiple worlds as a habit. I think I missed it. Is there a like habit. a summoning phrase that we have? Oh, can we just, can we just invent a summoning phrase? Just you sort of like. absolutely can. Um, I have been used to just, you know, bopping into places however I see fit. But it would be nice to have a little bit of a, a, a call to me that's, you know, specific to me. Uh, uh, Phoenix, you said, you said your name was Phoenix. Have I got that right? Yeah. Thanks. What are they? Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you do you? I know you're from like this other world. Multiver multiverse is, is a thing. That's totally fine. Um, what do they call a quarter pounder with cheese where you're from? <laughs> <sighs> OK, quarter pound of what? <laughs> Uh, that's a great name. I actually love that. If, <laughs> if it's just quarter pound of what, and then our fantasy angel comes in to help us out. Typically beef, I will say. I mean, that's, that's sort of the oh, traditional. Okay. Oh. Um, you should add pickles to your quarter pounder. A quarter pounder with pickles. Quarter pounder with pickles. I am very open to that being my summoning phrase. Great. Well, then you'll probably hear from us. Also, sorry about the <laughs> Wonderful. ramen. <laughs> then I will allow you um, to go on your merry way. Helga, if you have any final words. Um, otherwise, I will continue to cast whatever flippin' spells uh, are needed to help maintain these barriers well, here. Uh, I, yeah, no. My own, if, if you have any more questions for me, please, uh, you are obliged to ask and I'm obliged to answer uh, I would just say don't fuck this up oh, no. pardon my language it's okay, okay. Yeah, sure, it's okay, sure. it's okay when gets, I say the lady bug gets mad at me for swearing but then the Look, ladybug it's okay when it. I nobody, do it but when nobody, you do it that's it's not a okay. fantasy fucking eyelash when I saw it again sorry. we don't Look, disrespect we have a young the editor 
We have a young adult here. We can't do this lightly. It needs to be there for impact. We get one per story. <laughs> I like the idea that any swear word Jax is hearing is just like YAFI'd. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I'd muck this up. I would never muck it up. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever Jax uh, swears and thing, she, th she thinks that she's YAFI'ing and she thinks, oh man, we mucked it up. She's full on swear. Full just like, like <laughs> horrible, horrible slurs coming out of her mouth. Yeah. It's actually bleeped for everyone else. <laughs> this uh, whole crisis is it gonna r ride or die on us delaying by about eight hours no you, you can if, if you need some time to to sort of reorganize things or prepare things you we have some time I'm, I'm going to like try and grab the gun off of the back of uh josh's back yeah grab the gun off the back of josh i need to borrow this sure man you know how to use it, right? Like the the bang end goes the other way, and the just yeah, you got it, you got it. I had something similar yeah. like this once, but uh, doesn't like he like test the test the clip. click clack with the bolt action, and it's got like a five uh, round magazine in it. Like it's sleek and uh, way more advanced than anything you've got, uh, but not made out of metal. It looks like not like fully. It's hmm. got some weird. Uh, hard yet light material on it that is scratchable, but seems to do the job. Okay. Give me eight hours, I can fix this. You, point to J Jack. Fix it. Weapon or shield? I have both. Well, Which one do you like shield. more? Oh, uh, I guess my shield? Hmm. Although... You're touching his weapon. Maybe, maybe weapon. I like look down at my bag, do some math in my head. Give me both. Okay. So yeah, you grab uh, Jax's uh, sword and shield, Josh's rifle. Do you want it? Do you want the sword to glow or just hit harder? I do like both, things that both, glow. Both, 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 both. always both. <laughs> See what I can do. Phoenix just walks off to a different part of Begins yeah, disassembling yeah, I, things. As you step around uh, and, like, as you're walking away, you all can see, like, writing in scratches above his head, like, by an invisible hand, like, equations begin to appear and disappear. And as you walk uh, over already in your work, uh, the walls sort of fold down origami style, open up a new room for you, bring up a workbench and stuff. Uh, all just sort of folds out uh, ready for you uh, as you think about it. Uh, and you sit down and you get to work on your artificial in infusions. Uh, and y'all are getting a long rest. Uh, so any damage you took? I don't think the uh, rest of you took damage. Is healed by the No, only, only I took the beating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, only you only... took 74 <laughs> points of goddamn damage. <laughs> Hey man, it's oh, a warning God. shot. It's a warning shot. It's Consider me warned. <laughs> Phoenix got the personal stakes. Jax got uh, the universal stakes, and Josh just had a bad trip. <laughs> Hell yeah! It's the big three. Yeah, as you know it, the classic big, th the classic big three. Classic big three are Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman combination. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there anything y'all would like to do with your long rest? Uh, plans you would like to discuss? Conversations you'd like to have? Things you'd like to build, make, or enchant? I think Jax would be interested in the um, artificering that's yeah. going on. Because uh, mm -hmm. she's an inventor herself. and um, Really? She sure is, yeah. An inventor's apprentice. Her uh, uh, master Leshy is still missing but hopefully mm. she'll get her flying colors when um she can be reunited with her mentor mm. uh, so my yeah, original men could... my original mentor was a dead elf's hologram a dead elf hologram uh yeah most of them are dead actually oh and so it was empty inside uh no uh it was a image made out of magic, but it could talk. It had memories. Oh, like a tapestry. 
Yeah, yeah, it's like a tapestry. Yep, Phoenix, but it's exactly like a tapestry. Just Phoenix, Phoenix, I don't know if we're going to get there today, bud. Just, it's just like a tapestry. It is a fancy curtain that speaks to you. Oh. Yeah, tapestry. Yeah, and so y'all are just all sort of coming to grips with the different rules of all your worlds uh, as uh, Jax helps Phoenix uh, work on these infusions. And Josh... Are you doing anything? Are you just sort of like staying in the vicinity of Jax's anti-fear field? Definitely staying within 10 feet of the super cool high school senior. Uh, yeah. Also intrigued by the magic stuff wizard and what he's got going on on his mm -hmm. table. Um, Not a wizard. And then, yeah, I just think <laughs> sort of um, being, being bemused by this space. If it's no longer fear, I think it's mild bemusement as he sort of uh, just interacts with the house and, and um, the cool, the cool people inside. Absolutely. I kind of want to be just like being that nosy teacher. That's just kind of looking over everyone's shoulder and uncomfortably nice. close. <laughs> yeah. You're just like sort of getting in people's business without meaning to get in their business. Um, oh, I fully mean to. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I, I definitely am, am. Yeah. I definitely am trying to, to insert myself into the cool kids club. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like this is like, you know, since um, Jax keeps being referred to as cool high school senior, I feel like we're in robotics and I'm just like, what's what's going on here? What what are all the cool the cool guys doing um, in robotics club? You know, I am trying to repurpose the pocket manifold inside of my bag into something that can properly cycle the ammunition on this thing. Daffodil, this is an interesting experience for you as well, and it because you know these people's stories. You know every version of their stories. It's true. Uh, you know their uh, what helps them rise, what helps them fall, and there is a little bit of like a parasocial thing going on because you know <laughs> everything about these people, and they know nothing about you. Um, yeah. And not only do you know everything, you've worked with other versions of them from behind the scenes to make them better versions of themselves, to give them little bits of inspiration in moments when times were darkest and they didn't even know you were there. This is um, sounding so familiar. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty starstruck. You know, I, yeah. I'm trying to look cool, I think, for mm -hmm. for the the uh, these heroes. But I am, I'm really, you know, I'm really just trying to be close to my idols as any, um, as any person who admires a, a, a hero or star from afar would. So, um, yeah, I'm definite, again, I'm nosy. I'm, I'm entering their vicinity to figure out what they're doing, but I'm also like, oh my God, I'm like two feet away from Phoenix. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And while all that's happening, that comes to an end. Phoenix, what are the infusions that you've granted to all right. your allies? So Josh gets a repeating shot on his rifle. So it gets a plus one bonus to attack and damage. Uh, it ignores the loading property. And if it doesn't have any ammunition in it, it automatically makes its own ammunition whenever you pull the trigger. Holy crap. Sick. So cool. Take that five shots, MC. <laughs> Yeah, and I was going to be here like, ah, oh, he's going to have to reload these things, but <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. Uh, I just, and then for Jack, I just went with, ah, right. No, you wanted it to glow. Radiant weapon on the sword or on the weapon. So it's got a plus what one is... bonus to attack and damage. Uh, you can also make it shed bright light in a 30, 60 foot, 30 foot radius. It's 30 feet dim after that. Also, it's got four charges in it. Uh, set off a charge. It might blind someone. It should blind someone. Setting off a charge and you said it's is... got four charges? Yep, four charges. Uh, it's Oh, and it's a reaction. And it's a reaction after someone tries to... If someone hits you to set it off. Perfect. And if you don't feel like blinding someone, or if you run out of charges on that, hands the shield... Shield has an extra plus one bonus to armor class. Four ch charges on the shield. If you get hit by something and want to use the shield instead, it pushes it 15 feet away. So is that if someone hits me or I hit them? Uh, uh, both of them are if they if you get hit. If I get hit, cool. 
So you can either blind them or push them away. And each of those has four charges. And then plus one AC, plus one to attack with the weapon. Plus one to ace. God damn. Woohoo! I usually play squishy characters, so this is so cool having such a high AC. <laughs> yeah, you have 21 AC now, and mm. then also like 100 and something health. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. You are going to be. Hell you're going to need. This never happens. From, from <laughs> memory, you're, you're going to need it. I mean, yeah, you're going to need it. But then you also have Lay on Hands, which gives you another 50 health of a healing pool. Mm -hmm. And then I think some healing spells as well. And also you can use Shield of Faith on yourself to give yourself 23 AC. It's a whole whole thing. Um, Yeah. Yeah, so you do all that prep work. Uh, Once that's done, which realm are you going to go to first? What's your plan? Jacques first, then mine. And then I think that finishes it. I think so. Yeah, I think that I think good. once we finish Asher, okay. Asher, I think we can figure out how to Asher. Yeah, do something else. Great. Uh, Great. All right. Let's start with yours. Uh, so Daffodil, you take your pen, <laughs> open up a portal to uh, where in Freya are you trying to go to? Uh, do I get to choose? Yeah, you're. Your home, your well, you can you can choose an approximate location, and uh, Daphne will get you as close as she can. Okay, so the Council of Four will be in the palace, and Salos will be underneath the upper realm. Do we want to go somewhere safe first, and then decide where we the go? The bug said, "Look, for, the bug said, look for allies." Look for That's allies? true. So. Most of my allies will be in the palace if there's still a palace when we get there. All right, then we start there. Agreed. Daffodil, uh, I need you to roll a uh, spell attack for me using the editor's pen. So it's going to be a d20 plus your spell attack modifier, which I believe is nine. Um, We're going a 12 plus nine is uh, 21. 21. Uh, that will get you pretty much exactly where you want to go. Uh, so, yeah, you use the pen and you uh, open up this portal. A tear opens in uh, the walls of the margins, and uh, you all step through this portal into a rather gorgeous looking temperate climate, uh, like verdant uh, fields and like. Uh, lovely trees, there's birds singing, it's all very nice where you are, and there's this shining palace in front of you, um, and you guys are off to the side, like, sort of hidden in some bushes as you step into this new realm, um, and it all seems very quiet and nice and dripping with wealth, and, you know, there's people walking, uh, by in some gardens that are laughing, um, Jax, roll... An investigation check for me. Or no, roll an insight check for me. 16. 16. You notice that as lovely as the upper realm is, there are more guard pairs walking around than normal. Um, And uh, there's usually a good number of people in the gardens. There's still some there, but they're far and few in between, even though they look very nice and happy. Um... You recognize that these are some of the wealthiest people in the realms. Uh, And that there is sort of underneath the quaintness and and the beauty of the upper realms is this underlying tone of wrongness, of tension. Um, But for the other two, this is a real nice place that you're in. Yeah, you Uh, can... See the fear. You smell it too. <laughs> oh yeah. That smells okay. like old buttermilk. You get that? It it right might just there. be the stables. I'm getting a more of a floral scent. Oh, that's nice. So if I understand correctly, I'm no longer queen, which means I don't have as many allies up here, but I yeah. do know that a very very talented guard by the name of Amber Everstar will still be on our side. Uh, something that you also remember is that you were told that the version of Jax from this world is dead. 
Oh, yes. I definitely remember that. <laughs> okay. Uh, lovely. Where in the palace would you like to look for Amber or anyone else? For Amber, could we go to the training barracks? Sure. Uh, are you trying to be stealthy about it? Yes. Although I am in full plate. You're in full armor. plate, which gives you disadvantage. Um, so... But you can all roll a stealth check. Uh, if you want some help with that, Josh, I believe you have Pass Without Trace. I do have, uh, let me see here. I do have Pass Without Trace. I also have, uh, this is a Patagonia Puffy. You could take off your sort of metal turtle shell and you could put this on. Um, it's a little bit, you know, don't have to waste a spell slot and keeps you warm at night. I mean... Can I do that without having to take 10 minutes to doff it my would Yeah, yeah, take, that thing looks wicked complicated. It yeah, you would might. take fully 10 minutes to take it all off. Um, and then also you would only be getting, uh, instead of the full full plate bonus to AC, which is, I think, plus 10, um, you would only be getting plus 2 from this puffy. And then also Josh would have no armor. Hmm. So then Jax will say, thank you very much for the offer. I feel like you might need this more than I because I'm used to the temperature in this world, but this is a completely new climate to you and you might need to stay warm. Just use the Word. Magic. Okay, then yeah, I will do, then I will suggest ca uh, casting Pass Without Trace. It gives us a plus 10 bonus to uh, stealth checks um, and we can't be tracked except by magical means, which might help us out here. All right, you do that. Everybody roll a stealth check for me. Jax, you're doing it at disadvantage. Uh, I rolled a 19. I rolled a 17. 17. And these nice. are, this is after Pass Without Trace, which is a plus 10? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh my oh, mm -hmm. god. And 27. 27? Dang. All okay, right. great. Wait, with disadvantage? Yeah, I rolled an 11 and a 16, and I get plus uh, 6 to stealth. Oh, right. I forgot I gave you proficiency in that. All right, yeah. So you all are pretty darn stealthy as you sort of creep through uh like uh the shadows and the gardens and then you enter some secret passageways uh that Jax is privy to um thanks to all of her time in the palace and you make your way to the guards sort of training area which is this uh or correct me if i'm wrong but it's like these series of sand pits with some bleachers on the side um oh, excuse me uh, and you show up in there and there's a lot of people training in here, like a lot of new trainees. A lot of uh, women are uh, doing various fighting forms and like sword forms. Uh, there's uh, not many onlookers now. It seems like the only onlookers are people with clipboards uh, making notes uh, as they walk around and they're watching these uh, soldiers and guard pairs training. And you see one of those people with a clipboard is Amber Everstar um, standing uh, up uh, in the wings, marking things off, looking rather dour. She's got a new scar that lines down uh, over her right eye, down to her neck. Um, and she's there uh, keeping watch uh, and like monitoring people. And she's going to be rolling a perception check versus y'all stealth. That's... Is there... Are there, am I seeing things, or is there not a single man training down here? There's not. Oh, of course. Huh. I mean, you do have to admit, you do have to admit it would ruin the vibe a little bit, right? Just like one dude. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest. Well, I, I, yeah, I no, hope you're to right, introduce men into our military, but at the moment, it's just women run. Huh. Because we Respect. are the superior fighters. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's an interesting take. But... I mean, not really. You see their upper arms, right? Valid. Valid. Yeah, Valid. You, you do look and see that uh, all these women are jacked as hell. Um, you know what, Valid? And, like, moving super fast and, like, really on uh, point with their... Uh, uh, movement like it's it's just you're seeing some of the best warriors that you've ever seen uh training here uh amber rolled uh, an 18 on her perception check did that 
beat any that of beats you? me that beats me. Oh, I had 17. No. Just a dude. Just a strange it's just, man. Now, now there's just, just a dude. one dude here. <laughs> so one dude here. What did we uh, just talk about? <laughs> yeah, just, just a very... Uh, yeah, Jackson, as he's getting, you see, getting explained, just a very loud, huh? huh. Yeah, there is a huh. <laughs> uh, most... That is drowned out by, like, the... Huh, 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 uh, from all the grunting of the people uh, training... But you do see Amber's eyes flick up and, like, lock eyes with Phoenix. And then because she's seen him and you're all within 10 feet of Jax, uh, goes and glances over and sees Jax and her eyes widen. Like, a whole suite of expressions cross over her face in an instant. And you see her, like, get pale. It's like there's a small smile and then a frown and then like a look of confusion and then hope and then fear and then wondering and then like interrogating and looks around, looks to you. What do you can, give can Jax do this? Her, all of these expressions. Can Jax do this? And then just like, yeah, roll a persuasion check for me. Oh, yay. Okay. Uh, the old, the old lip, finger across the lips movement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The 26. Persuasion. 26. God damn. We love charisma based characters. Uh, yeah. Amber. Like looks like she's about to say something and then closes her mouth, looks around, uh, goes over to. Um, oh, nuts. I'm oh, and what that woman's is name. Master Chef uh, Rathbone here? Because in. Jax is where she's just left her story. No. The head, former head of the Queen's Guard is missing, but would she be in this world? Uh, you're not sure. You don't see her around, and you see that uh, Amber has been appointed to uh, head of the Queen's Guard. Uh, okay. Like, you can see that little, um, whatever it's called, metal on her and, like, the, the markings in her armor. Uh, but she goes over to uh, another one of uh, the guards who's there who you don't recognize, uh, whispers something in their ear, hands the clipboard, and, like, claps on the shoulder, and they wave her off. And she, uh, like, bobs her head to where you know a passage in a wall is and makes her way out of the training room. Tell me that one's on our side. Yes. Well, actually, may I use... Uh, detect good and evil before we go follow her? Yes. I don't have people use that spell that often, so I need to remember what it does. It, um, you know if there is any aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within 30 feet of you, as well as where the creature is located. Similarly, you know if there is a place of there's a place of object within 30 feet of you that has been magically consecrated or desecrated. Yeah. No, that's absolutely a good idea. Um, you... If you sense yeah. it within 30 feet here, we are in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, too late. <laughs> you actually do at one point detect an undead presence. Um, slowly shifting through the halls uh, within 30 feet of you. So it's like two hallways over, but you can feel something slowly sliding along. And it's in the same direction Amber just went? No, it is uh, no. in the opposite direction. And it's uh, like moving past you. It doesn't seem like it's moving towards you. And eventually it does leave your uh, sort of observation or your range of influence. Okay. Um, it's, but it was almost gonna, like something was patrolling. She's just going to say to the gang, um, I think we should follow Amber because she's she'll be on our side, but there is something undead nearby. So just be on your guard. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys move to uh, go towards where Amber was uh, heading towards into secret passageways. Um, 
and Jax, you're leading the way when you see Amber like slides the panel that she's uh, snuck through closed, looks to you and hand on the pommel of her sword says, how do I know you are who you say? Who you look like? I would like, I would like to, and this might not mean much to her, but I hope it does. I would like to use a second level spell slot to cast zone of truth around myself. Okay. That and hits everybody here. So yep, what's I the fail. saving throw for that? <laughs> oh, this it's charisma. Saving. I rolled a two. So yeah, I rolled a five. Charisma saving throw. Nice. Which does that have to beat my she spell? She rolled a five DC? as well. She failed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Yeah, but everyone failed. So are you going to try to resist your own effect or are you giving into it? By casting no, I'll give into it. Yeah. Um, and okay. so Jax will so just say... So everyone here is immediately... Yeah, so Jax will just say, uh, I'm now bound to only tell the truth. And it is a, it is me. It is Jax. Um, but a different version from the one you know. And I'm here with my new friends. We need to save the realms from the Council of Four and something even more unspeakable. Also, we'll get a few jabs at Hera, likely. Uh, I see. She laughs. <laughs> okay. Even with the, whatever you've just done, I wasn't entirely sure until that last part. Come here. And she rushes over to you and wraps you up in a big rib cracking hug um, and uh, like whole, cups your face and says, It's so good to see you. I, I thought we'd lost you forever. My God, you've missed that easy. so much. We've missed you so much. <laughs> Thank Alti, we can't. <sighs> Things have changed in your absence. Um, you know about the Council of Four, yes. Uh, and Hera, she's queen, but not, not really queen. And <sighs> That thing you mentioned, I've seen it. I think we... Are here. we talking about the same thing? The big smoke... Monster. Yes, this man well, has fought Well, not here, it here, but uh, you have yeah, sort of and again you survived. fought. Well, was, hey, well, fought, survived. Again, big words. Um, You've got to stop. I'm, You've got to stop leading with that. Yeah, really, for sure. I think I think we'll we'll find a middle word down the line. Um, what's going on? Uh, my name's Josh. I love your triceps. Um, we are here to help. Focus. We're sort of going by rough draft heroes. That's sort of our first draft name for ourselves um but yeah i am familiar with that uh sort of big smoke monster that you've got how did you manage to defeat it i know surprising right given the overall mediocre white man vibe that i bring to this sort of table i wasn't um, going to say anything but i would right guess. no it's it's yeah no i get it um it's uh um hmm so it feeds on fear and sort of being scared. And um, I hear there's a lot of that going around, not from you per, per se, again, because of the triceps, um, but sort of overall things to be scared of, which is only going to make it stronger uh, and it's only going to get worse from there. It's in league with the undercourt ribbons. Yes, no, that's where I, I, I've seen it before. It was uh, when I was... But I had to spend some time in Alethia, um, working with the sons of Selos. Selos, which one is it? Selos. Is it Selos? Selos. Selos? However uh, you say it in your head is perfect. Wonderful. Um, yes, uh, I've spent some time working with them. Um, I mean, men. Is... Did the council have you working with them? Yes, uh, they... I don't know if, if you're aware of this, but they work, have, have been working with them. In, in your version of our world, I don't know if you're aware that they essentially gathered their power from the undercourt and, and extra eggs that are laid down there and, and through sub, subterfuge and skullduggery, uh, thanks to the Sons of Selos. 
I got to go to other worlds more often. You don't hear skullduggery thrown about <laughs> on Earth that often. Hot diggity dang. Is it hot diggity no, it's, it's, what? Hot, it's kind of, hot diggity dang. It's a sort of human phrase. You can, tell, you yeah, can have that one. For, yeah. I am human. We certainly Same. don't say things like that here. That's. You guys don't yeah. say hot diggity dang? No, but we should. Perhaps men are of some use. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see this uh, guy. This guy beefed us with a with an exhalation. <laughs> oh, right, okay. whole cover. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's not wrong. Um, but yes, uh, no, I will say that Hera's not entirely happy as queen. Um, she's expressed great doubt and and has wanted to um, rebel against her mother and the council uh, countless times, but doesn't have the strength in her sort of court, as it were, uh, with you and your two allies of interesting persuasion. Do you think there's anything that Hi. we can do to convince her that we, we can make a difference uh, to stop, to quell the fear that Silos and, and, uh, Frankly, the council enact on people, especially in the lower realms. I mean, it's I've I've visited there as well, and it's not great. Well, that's why we came here. We were looking for allies. I was hoping we could get even a fraction of the military behind us. I don't know where anyone else is. Is Lena up here? Because she could maybe help sway the other Lena's lords. Lena's been sent back home, uh, but we can try to reach out to her, certainly. Um, I, I don't have a quick way to message her. It would take a few days, you know, for a message to get there and back. Um, I don't know if you have a manage uh, a way to send something quickly or, or get to her quickly. She could probably sway some lords. She is a lord now. Um, oh. Her, yes, her... her parents uh, passed away and she's now in control of her sort of estate but is forced because the rest of the lords bow to the claustrums she's forced to do the same but there are those who speak in support of the rebellion rebellion's good i can re yes i think so i can rally some of the army behind me as uh, head of the queen's guard and uh, if you can convince the queen herself um, and we can manage to oust some control from Hera's mother, uh, deal with her in some way, then I think we could be set to take back what the council has stolen from us. And what of the court? Are they, not the undercourt, but the- The court. The court court. They've taken a step back. Um, they haven't, uh, we haven't told anyone that they haven't been, they haven't allowed us to take any more of their eggshells. Uh, so Ooh. our sole egg source shells. of gold is coming from the undercourse right. supplies. Yeah, no, I'm also, I'm also curious about the eggshells. Oh, yes. Um, the, the, the way we get gold, uh, griffins, when they lay eggs, their eggs are made out of pure gold. Um, and once, yeah. <clears throat> once they hatch, they the cult uh, used to be very generous in allowing us to uh, take that and then use it for currency and all of that. Um, but the, there's two courts. There's a proper court, and then there's an undercourt who are all uh, trapped uh, by the Sons of Salos and the like. And so the council used to get money from both of the courts, but now they're only getting it from the undercourt, which has slowed their stem of profits. But... They haven't told anyone yet, so everyone thinks that everything's hunky-dory, that we're still getting eggs from just one court. So you don't say hot diggity dang, but you do say hunky-dory. Interesting. I'm starting <laughs> to see sort of Losing where the, the realms thread. meet up. <laughs> yeah. Losing the thread. So so if I've got this right, Jax, and I don't – we got we to gotta talk to Hera, mm -hmm. and then we have to talk to Hera's mom. Did I, yes, so it, it, that might have been a red herring. I might have misheard that. Hera's mother – is connected to the Council of Four and the Sons of Salos. And Hera, it sounds like she's just become their puppet. Mm. Okay. If the court have taken a step back, we could try and get the lords on board by getting the court back 
because that's our economy. Without gold, we're nothing. Same. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. I can hear your dollar signs, Mallory. (laughs) Listen. (laughs) You think this Patagonia puffy bought itself, my friend? Okay. (laughs) Yeah. I know you can just make your own socks with your cool glove. Uh, It doesn't make socks. All right. Let's go talk to to the person. All right. Um, uh, So uh, I can uh, get some of the... Uh, Queen's Guard behind me. Um, where do you need anyone to accompany you? Uh, or I see that you have armor and apparently some newfound power, and your allies have uh, weapons of some kind. No, we do. And he has a Patagonia armor Puffy. puffer jacket. Yes, this, yeah. um, this sounds very uh, rare, what you have, and, and, and uh, formidable. So. If you all don't need any guards, then be on your way, and I will uh, get to work. Uh, and uh, Amber hugs you again um, and uh, says, uh, whispers in your ear, it really is so good to see you, my leash. Um, you never stopped being my queen. And then she runs off uh, to go do her work. And where are y'all headed? Uh, did she say where Hera was? Uh, yeah, she directs you that uh, Hera should be in the queen's chambers right now. Oh, um, of course. So, like, in the throne room. I say we go oh, to the wow. throne room. Been a while since I've barged into one of those. No time like the present, baby. Let's go. Yeah, uh, let's roll another stealth check, as this is now a new sequence of movements. We're going to use do some more perception checks. Uh, it's in 21. 21. Do we still have Pass Without a tra- Trace? Yes, mm-hmm. you do. Perfect. So, 25. 25, 21, and... 32. 32. Ooh, nice. Holy smokes. Uh, yeah, using secret Massively passages. overcompensated for the second. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I gotta do better. <laughs> yeah, you uh, move and you open up the secret passage entrance in the back of the throne room. You step in and you see... Uh, that Hera is alone, um, sitting on the throne, just like kind of sadly eating some grapes. <laughs> she's, I don't think all... there's another way to do it. <laughs> yeah. She's it like, you know, looks regal in this flowing, like, uh, deep blue dress with this gold inlay. Um, like her hair is up looking spectacular. Like she looks built for the throne with like a large crown, uh, sparkling with jewels. And she's just sort of slumped in her throne with a platter of grapes. And then a little goblet of wine that she sips out of every now and then and some bread and cheese. And she's just waiting for the next order as queen. Uh, and then does not notice you all sort of slink in behind her. Do you think the grapes and the wine are redundant at the same time? <laughs> uh, fully screams at that. Uh, like, trays go everywhere. Uh, like, falls out of the chair. Scrambles. Hi, what a- wait, 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 wait. Sees you, it's Jax, okay. and goes, Jacqueline? Hi. You're dead. No. Yeah. Not yes. Right. Well... It's a long story, um, but we're here to help. How different, Jacqueline? Different, yes. I didn't Who die. Are you? I'm... These are my friends. Phoenix. Uh, Josh. Sup? Okay. Persuasion check with disadvantage. <laughs> all of you. Me for saying my name? <laughs> yep. Do you say all of us? Yeah. Uh, oh gosh. Persuasion. Let's see what a collective oh, persuasion gross. check does here. Nineteen. Uh, oh no. Nineteen. Great. I rolled a two. Seven. And a two. <laughs> great. Um, the nineteen is enough for uh, her to, for Hera to believe that you're actually Jacqueline. You're somehow back from the dead, and that these people are your friends. Um, the seven and the two are enough to make her scream for the guards. Uh, she goes, yeah, that tracks. Guards! Uh, I bam. am going to cast web on the doors. 
Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do. Uh, you uh, wham, spider silk uh, just whips out of your wand, slaps uh, across the door, and the doors uh, can't be opened. Uh, and you hear, uh, Queen, Queen, uh, Hera, are you all right? Uh, our lady, are you all right? And uh, she goes to say something else. Do you guys do anything Tell them else? That you're fine. Oh, what? Uh, do you do anything or do you just ask her of that? Uh, she's just going to ask her to do that, but can I do it as a command? Yeah, you can use the command spell. Cool. Uh, what's the saving throw for you again? Uh, 17. Cool. That's a natural one. Nice. Uh, <laughs> what, so command, the way that works is it's one it's oh, single one word. word. Right? Yeah, what's the word you say to her? Um, pacify. Oh, pacify. oh, yes, pacify. You pacify. <laughs> this wave of uh, psychic uh, force hits her, and her eyes sort of glaze over for a second. <sighs> it. Never mind. I thought I saw a spider. It's fine. And they, the guards say, are, are, you, are you sure, Arlie, our, our queen? And she says, yes. Yes, it's, everything's okay. Leave me be. And then you hear there's some footsteps away. And, uh, and as you step closer to her, your sort of aura uh, affects her. As the command wears off, she goes, okay. I... If you, and she stands, holds herself up, if you are truly Jax Tabbert, you are my subject, and I am your queen, and you two interlopers will give me the due respect of a queen. Now tell me, what are you doing in my throne room? We're here to help. Mm. We're here to get rid of the beast fear beast the feast uh and i get the sense that maybe you aren't loving the crown and how it has come to uh how how being a queen really is so maybe we can help with that too no one wants to be a puppet yeah roll a persuasion check ooh with that last line with advantage ooh Persuasion, uh, 18. 18. That was with advantage? Yes. I rolled an 8 and okay, a 9. Okay, great. Uh, Love a plus 9. All right. Uh, yeah, she... Uh, at that last comment, you see that, like, this, like, regal facade sort of cracks. And she says... No, of course... I... Well... No, it's not what I imagined. Um, I was, I was born to rule, and that's not what's happening at all. I'm, like you said, I'm just a puppet for my mother and and the council and, and their games. I mean, it's it's horrible, Jacqueline. Truly, I, you want to help? Fine. What do you suggest? Because. This is not how this is supposed to go. We need the power of the lords. Okay. Um, Do you still have that? My mother holds most of that. Um, she has yet to die, unfortunately, for all of us. Um, this, you know, uh, I, mean, I we can, can fix find... That. This is, yeah, George, uh, so Jack, this is your turf, but um, can't that just be fixed with a, you know, and I... Just for meaningfully at, like, her weapon. <laughs> Can't it be fixed with a bullet? Is that what you're suggesting, Phoenix? <laughs> well, she doesn't have a gun. <laughs> Harris says, well, well, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want my mother to die. I, I just need her out of the way for at least long enough for us to get unification or... 
perhaps how how long how long would my... that take ballpark sorry to interrupt so sorry to interrupt your majesty how long would that take ballpark it would take unification all it would take is for her to be out of the way for a day and i could write at the paperwork have people believe that she's dead or or incapable of ruling and then it would pass on to me and then i i would have a sway over the lords uh, and then with them, and uh, I'm sure you can get Lena, and uh, we, someone, you know, Amber's still loyal to the council, so we need to figure out something for her and the Queen's Guard. Uh, quarter pounder with pickles. <laughs> Daffodil pickle appears. Uh, Hera screams rang? again. Uh, as another person appears in her throne room. Uh, but no, no, she doesn't scream because Jax is nearby. So she looks at Daffodil Pickle, blinks. Hi. You know, normally uh, we have to schedule these. Yeah, yeah, we've got a sort of pocket angel. Um, we need to kidnap an old person for like 48 hours. Can you keep her in your in your paper house? Um, like in the margins? How? Yes, that's yeah. what it is. Can you make a paper prison? Oh, okay. I was going to say, if I was going to keep her in the margins, that might be a tough sell. Um, but I can totally babysit her in a, in a paper prison, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. So <laughs> you can you can definitely try to, to uh, get there and get to her. Um, well, I can just, you know... Portal myself. Por- portal myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the the trying part is uh, because uh, these whole lands are in like this sort of fog, which is why you need to try to get to the right place. I see. Um, how about so we we can summon you to us? How about we get to her, open the portal, chuck her in? Okay. Can we well, do like a, can we do like a cut to like Josh and Phoenix dressed up in like elaborate costumes, <laughs> knocking on the door to the queen consort mother, Uber mother drivers, like door dashers. watermelons in your corset, guys. I'm yeah. Sure I yeah. Can yeah. Send you there watermelons with in our my, watermelon in our uh, corset. We've got fantasy ramen. Yeah, <laughs> we've got fantasy ramen. Watermelons in your corset. Uh, great. Yeah, we can smash cut to that. Uh, I'm pretty so, sure I could have sent you there with my um, <laughs> with my portal, but this works. This is they've way got better. a plan. They're set. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so Hera does explain that her mother is sort of staying nearby uh, because oh. she's like ruling over things. Essentially, uh, needs to be nearby in order to keep her daughter on a leash. Um, so. Yeah, uh, she lets you know where she's staying, and I just roll disguise. I guess is that the plan? Uh, yes, I would like to take. Well, look, we can roll disguise, but then before we knock on the door, I want to take a quick in character aside with Phoenix. If that's cool uh-huh. with you. Yep, great. Uh, first, okay. let's roll for disguises. Um, just does yeah, people great. have any like disguising abilities? Um. Well, I do have some amount of stealth, um, if that d- means anything. Can you um, hide as a ramen bowl? DM, can I hide as a ramen bowl? I'm up for it. Let's find out. Uh, let me pull up your character sheet really quick. Uh, I rolled a 22 on disguise, by the way. Holy moly. That's I know good. a spell I would have had in the final draft, but it looks like I don't have any in this one. So... <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing disguise this self? thing instead. Yeah, disguise self. Uh, would have been... uh, that would have been nice. Um, but you are a bard, and you do have... So you can give advantage uh, to them to help disguise them by, like, editing their appearance, essentially. Okay. And we can buy our own watermelons. Yeah, I, this you is can key. buy watermelons. This is key. No a lot problem. of people use fake watermelons. Those are no good. <laughs> I don't know. You got to get some nice, you some nice juice. Definitely remind me. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa there. Whoa there, MC. This is YA. Cool your, cool your jets. I know, I know. 
I know. That's why I snapped. Ah. Next thing you're gonna next uh, thing you're gonna start talking about how succulent the melons are. My goodness. <laughs> well, no, that, that'll be if you use cacti. No one's gonna use cacti. <laughs> Uh, oh but yeah, I don't even know what a disguise check would be. It would, be, I would, I'm going to say stealth and you can roll with advantage with the help of Daffodil Pickle. Oh, great. Cool. Okay. I rolled so that's 18 20, twice. 18 twice. Great. Nice. Uh, I rolled a 22 and then a 13. So I'll keep the, I'll keep the 22. All Do right, I great. need to disguise myself? Cause I'm. Uh, you I was going to ask Jack, uh, yeah, if you wanted to, if you wanted to just be you, might might work better for the, yeah. at least getting I mean, us through yeah, the palace kind of thing. It's up to you, whatever you think would be the best way to go about this. Because she's never met Hera's mom, so she can just be herself. All right, so you're going to be yourself. Um, yeah, uh, Hera looks at your disguises and says, "You actually make well." Beard might be a problem, but do you shave your beard? Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Wow. Phoenix. What about rewriting? Boom. Holy smokes. Boom. It's the end, it's the end of the uh, world. Clean world. shaven. Uh, and yeah, you guys uh, look like noble women for the most part. Uh, so yeah, you guys uh, then head to this uh, gorgeous estate uh, that's fenced in, and there's some guards, uh, two sets of guard pairs staring, standing at the gate, uh, and they stop you um, and say, "Sorry, what's your business at the Claustrum Manor?" And is Hera with us? Uh, would you have asked her to come along? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, if we're about to kidnap her mom. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's better better to do without the daughter in the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's just you guys. Uh, we were sent by Queen Hera. Uh, God, I saved the queen. And we uh, have a message for her mother, Lord Claustrum. We're, uh, we're fantasy Uber drivers. We have, we're, we come with food. You can stop adding fantasy to everything you say. Okay. Hey, hey, Phoenix, quick aside. This is fantasy land. I'm sorry. I mean, like, I know it's not for you, but like. Yeah, yeah. Here, here, it's just land. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. We're here to, we're Uber drivers. Uh, Jax, you were going to roll persuasion. You were going to roll it straight. And then Josh <laughs> helped you. And that would have given you advantage. But you said that you were bringing a message, and Josh said that you are fantasy Uber drivers bringing food. <laughs> but then I hoisted the bags of groceries that I got on the way, <laughs> and you can bring a message and food at the same time. <laughs> yeah, the message we, is we food. Thought it would, we thought it would um, less, lessen the blow of the news if we brought food. And now you're back up to rolling it straight. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> Just oh, straight no. persuasion. They're gonna roll insight. Am I rolling persuasion as well? Interesting. Uh, no, it's just Jax since Jax was the only one talking. Uh, are you there as a I person rolled... right now, Daffodil? I assume so. Oh no, okay. because you're gonna summon me once I'm. So am I babysitting Hera? I think you're babysitting Hera right now. Okay. Then I think we're just I, kidding. I, was, I thought we were in the process of going to kidnap Hera. Or no, well, you're, no you're Hera's mother. I've, 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 nope, yep, I got it twisted. No, aren't, nope, I thought you yep, were yep. going to her because then you could summon me to you and then I could more yeah. efficiently get yes. to. Yes, yes. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm with Hera. Yeah. I'm not here. Great. Uh, what do you roll in that persuasion? Um, 11. 11. She nods. Flash okay. of genius. It's a 16. Great. Uh, she nods, looks at all of you, looks at the other uh, three guards with her. Okay, lovely. Um, right, well, get them. Get them. Uh, and they charge. I need everyone to roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, and I'm going to call out ranges, uh, and then let me know when uh, your number is in that range. So okay. 20 to 25. <clears throat> Great. 15 to 20. 
Oh, boy. T- f- uh, 10 to 15. 11. 11. Uh, next. All right. Uh, 5 to 10. 7. 5. Seven. Great. Okay. Uh, Jax and Josh. Lovely jubbly. Uh, Phoenix, you're up first because they also rolled terribly. Uh, there's three of these knights uh, standing around you. Um, and uh, But other than that, it seems like it's just them, but you don't know how far away other people are, so you don't know how loud you can get. Uh, they're all and going they're, to draw swords. And they're in front of us, in between where we're trying to go. Yes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, well, then, first, well, then, lacking any other options. No, actually, no, actually, the kids seemed squeamish about killing. So I'll just cast web on them. Okay, great. Uh, there's a save for that? Yep, yeah, it's a dexterity save. Uh, they all failed the saving throw. So they're all uh, what restrained. Is that? restrained. Yeah, so you uh, you whip out this just massive, like you launch this little web grenade, which then explodes and uh, wraps them all up, and they're uh, can't move, all restrained. Uh, is that your turn? Are you moving anywhere? Yeah, I'm gonna try and get, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and get past them now. Just like that. All right, that's them. Let's go. Uh, yeah, they're struggling there, can't get out, and you just walk over. Gates are locked, uh, so someone's going to have to deal with that somehow. But that's mm. them. Uh, they get to try again on their turns. Jax is uh, just going to say, you have to show me how you made that. Oh, yeah, will do. Uh, technically, like, they make the save on, like, the start of their turn, so that's when they would be restrained, and then... Restrained creature can use its action to make a strength check against the DC to try and get out. Mm. Yeah. Oh. What was your DC again? Uh, DC 17. 17. One is strength check? Yeah, strength check. At the start or end of their turn? Uh, it's at their action. It's their action? All right, so one of them does <laughs> uh, tear free uh, and rush over to apprehend you phoenix but she doesn't have anything else that she can do uh so that's their turn Jax, you're up uh okay i think so they're they're in the web right now yeah except for one <laughs> oh, except that, that one that one yeah there is one that just boom and is now like on top of phoenix okay may i um Use my new cool shield to mm-hmm. hit this one who's coming for Phoenix and send it back 15 feet. I think that ability is only when you get hit, right? Oh, when I get hit, sorry. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, that, it's uh, on a reaction. Okay, then I will... Sorry, she doesn't want to hurt them, but she doesn't want them to hurt her friends. Tough spot to be in. Hit them. Uh, just, just hit her. Just, just hit her. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'll just hit her. <laughs> May, I right. yeah. May I yeah, please stab? May I please? May I please stab? With manners like that, how could I refuse? Um, yeah, go make your attacks. Okay. They are also wearing uh, full plates. I'm wearing full plate. Oh, they're yeah, wearing. Full they plate. are as well. Like they're in full night regalia. Uh, okay, so. Oh, okay. 19 plus 7, so uh, 26 to hit. That hits. Yeah, roll damage. Yes. And then. It is. Oh. 2 plus. 2 plus 1 is 5 damage. And then I'd also like to expend one of my charge. No, it's only when I get hit. Never mind. I wanted to blind them. Yep. So five damage, please. Two plus one. What? Two plus two oh. plus one. Oh right, you don't actually have a lot of strength. 
Um, yeah, two plus two plus all right, so five. I was, like, I was like, what'd you hit them with oh, a toothpick? Wait, but I can use Divine Smite. You can use Divine Smite oh, if you want. I would like and to Divine I've never played a Paladin before. There's so many cool things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would like to Smite them, please. And Great. What level spells are you using? Because I can, I would like to use a third level spell slot. Oh, boy. All you're right. gonna turn this person. You're gonna turn this person into. Wait, no, non-lethal. Okay, I'm just gonna it, use yeah, a one. one you you can oh, smite yeah. and still have. You, you can't smite non-lethal. Yeah, you're not gonna turn them into dust. You're just gonna give them a TBI. Okay. It's a real. Instead, I will do the divine smite, but I'll add the thunderous smite. Uh, you can them. choose one. Oh, I can do one. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Divine smite. <laughs> But I'll do uh, the like, thunderous the, smite version. Like the smite spells are a bonus action to queue up, so like you can actually like bonus action cast the smite you. spell, land, yeah. and then proc a divine smite if you just want to burn through spell yeah, slots. Yeah, you can. But... You can do both if you want. Yeah, I was wrong. Oh wait, I gotta save oh at least God. one spell slot. Okay, sorry. Um, I'll just divine smite with first level spell, but then I get an extra attack after, and I'll just hit her again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so then add the 2d8 for the uh, Divine Smite. Oh, that's better. So that was a 7 and an 8. That's 14. Oh, sheesh, yeah. So 19 damage nice. total. Great. Uh, that. Uh, yeah, so you uh, bring your sword down uh, onto her back and just, bam! Uh, there's a flash of Divine Golden Light that cracks uh, her armor as she uh, slams into uh, the gate and whirls onto you. Make your second attack. Perfect. Uh, so the second attack is 17 to hit. Uh, that one misses, uh, misses as she brings blade. her sword up and parries your attack uh, as she unsheaths her blade brings it down, and then recognition flashes in her eyes, and she goes, Jacqueline Tabbert, you're supposed to be dead. Uh, and that's going to be your turn. Josh, you're up. Uh, I have extra attacks, so I'd like to attack with both bags of groceries, please. <laughs> <laughs> not, not pulling your gun, swinging, you know, raw watermelons at him. <laughs> no, no, no. The watermelons are in my corset, and then I've got noodles and stuff for broth in the bag. Oh, now, I don't know about okay. you, MC, but I've been hit with a bag of bones before, and it hurts. <laughs> oh, you bought straight up bones, not like liquid broth? Yeah, we're not, we're not going to bring this bitch commercial ramen broth. We're going to make our own. All right. Hey, man, you know, I get it. You say you've been hit with a bag of bones? Yes. One of my cooks hit me in the head with a bag of bones one time. Oh, my God. Ooh. Awesome. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, those uh, are going to be improvised weapons. I'll make them D4s add your strength. D4s, MC? Yeah, dude. I got a pocket knife that's a D4. Yeah, your pocket knife would hurt as much as a bag of bones. All right, all right, all right, all right. Bags of bones sound painful. They sound as impactful as like a punch at least. Yeah, it sounds yeah, like a, a D6 a, is all I'm saying. And hey, a punch <laughs> is only... Like a, a punch is weaker, actually. A punch right. is just one plus your strength. Do you want me to make it one plus your strength? Tell you what. I'll, tell you I'll what. do it. First, roll, for, first, bag is in, first bag is in 19. Okay. That's a hit. Okay. Second bag. Oh, you're roll, you are rolling these with advantage because they're restrained. I think that's how that works. Oh, okay. Uh, second one is a 26. Uh, yeah, both hit. Okay. <clears throat> so roll your 2d4 plus... Your strength modifier twice. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Lovely, jubbly. And Ooh. then I'll adjust my melons. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Gotta. Uh, so yeah, you swing and the one that's restrained that you hit, bam. Ow! Is that a bag of bones? I didn't want to do this. Why? <laughs> you forced uh, me. That's your turn. Uh, Phoenix, you're up again. 
Okay. All right. What you doing? Well, I gave her a chance to stay in the web. I am going oh, to... No. I am going to use my bonus action, I believe. That's what it is. Yeah. Bonus action to summon mm -hmm. the arcane cannon. No. So just this... <laughs> That sounds like a so big just one. this <laughs> so just this device on Phoenix's shoulder that's been like compact, like stands up with like legs, and like unfolds a cannon, off, a little like a cannon barrel off of it, hops off, gets far gets far enough away to not have disadvantage. Yep, it and skitters it, around like this little spider bot, and then <laughs> rotates the cannon. And then it is going to, and then it is going to shoot the the guard trying to trying to fight me. What type of cannon blast are you using? Uh, I'm just using the. <laughs> I am. Ju I'm just Is using this, uh, the force uh, ballista. It's force right. ballista. It's not the flamethrower. <coughs> the flamethrower oh, seems it. needlessly cruel. But it would have been funny. <laughs> oh, it would have been so funny. <laughs> uh, 26, 26 to hit. Twenty. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Which one are you hitting? The one that left the web? Yeah, the one that left the web and is tr was trying to fight me, but is now also fighting Jacqueline. Great. All right, so that's twelve. That's fourteen points of force damage. Nice. So yeah, this little cannon and this blast of force concusses. Did they have to make a saving throw? Uh, I don't. I don't believe the it, like, cannon it can knock uh, back, right? Uh, that's my Force Blast cantrip. Okay. Oh, no, no, Eldritch Cannon, the... no, Eldritch Cannon isn't, Eldritch Cannon isn't a saving throw, it does just knock five feet away. Oh, cool, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. roll another D4 yeah. for me as you knock it into the wall. Sure. Uh, four. <laughs> Great. Nice. Yeah, nice. uh, this little cannon goes down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hits them with this wave of force, bam, boom, into the uh, gates, phoom, collapses unconscious. Uh, so you've got one out of four Great. down. Nice. And then uh, that, that was the bonus action for the, bonus action was the, uh, was the ballista. So then with my action. Oh, now action, you just I'm have a to... straight up action. Yep. Oh, God. And the... <laughs> Oh yeah! Shoot the, shoot, the shoot the gates! Shoot the gates! Shoot the gates! No, yeah, no, yeah. Then with the action, just take take the wand, fire the force blast into the whatever's locking the gates. Yeah, uh, roll to attack. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, that's so much worse. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Hey, that hits. It's not moving. It's, it's not a, going it anywhere. Door. Roll roll damage. It is in fact a door. All right. Uh, seven. Doors are hard. Doors 13 are points of D D though. Yeah. Uh, thirteen Thir points of force damage. Force damage. Yep. Wham. Yeah. So you, <laughs> boom. Uh, gate blasted off its hinges. Uh, so now it's open. Do you run in? This is where we're going. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Let's yes, go. Yes. Yes. Away. Boom. Yeah. Uh, so Phoenix charges in. It is now the rest of the guards' turns. They're all going to roll to try to get out. That one doesn't. That one does. That one also does. So one is still trapped, but two of them get out. The one that uh, you hit with a bag of bones uh, and a chicken is going to just rip out, uh, grab you by the head, headbutt you. Uh, what's your AC? Oh, man, nobody wins with a headbutt. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, uh... It doesn't matter what your AC is because she rolled a 19 plus... Five. I don't think I have an AC of 24. Wait, you know what's crazy is my AC is 27. Oh my god! Whoa! Shield of Faith is busted! Uh, yeah, so it hits you, and she's gonna deal uh, just a D4 plus her strength for the headbutt. Uh, so you take four points of bludgeoning damage. Bam! Knocks you back. Uh, draws yeah, her great sword. Really quick. Sorry, is he within 10 feet of me? He is. Don't 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 worry about me, Jack. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. Save your spell slots. 
Why? Why? I was thinking aura of protection so that he doesn't get the HP damage. Or of protection. Oh, I get it. I think, oh, um, Oath of the Crown can take the damage for. Oh, right. Yeah. So, yeah, like, do you, you, wanna, you're still do you want to take that four damage? Take your damage? Yeah, you sure. want to take that four damage? All right, great. Yeah, you take it instead. Uh, so, Josh, you are about to get your nose broken as uh, this guard headbutts you, but instead there's this little golden sh barrier that manifests. She hits, uh, and Jax, you feel your face get bashed in by a headbutt. Uh, so it smarts, but you're a paladin, so it's fine. Uh, she then draws a great sword and swings at Josh. And misses with a nine to hit. Mm. Uh, so she brings this great sword down. Wham! Uh, hits the ground uh, next to you as you dodge left. Uh, dirt flies up into your face. She snarls at you. Uh, but that's her turn. Another one breaks free, runs after Phoenix, runs past Jax. Jax, you uh, just use your reaction so you don't have an opportunity attack. But they're going to multi-attack uh, Great Sword against Phoenix. That's a miss. That's a hit. Well, what's your AC? Uh, my AC is 16. Now. 16, yeah. So 20 does hit. Uh, 2d6... Six plus three is nine. So yeah, you take nine points of slashing damage as she brings uh, the greatsword down at your back uh, and catches up to you. <clears throat> that is their turn. Jax, you are up. We're all booking it to the gates, right? Yeah, so Phoenix is currently through the gates uh, heading towards yeah. the manor doors. You and Josh and two more of the guards are outside of them. Okay, may... Oh, and also, I said it was Aura of Protection. It was Divine Allegiance. It's the same. I just got the name wrong uh, for uh, the point transfer. Uh, can I grab Josh and just run for the gate? Uh, yeah, I, he can use his movement on his own turn. Um, so you don't need to use... I'll be. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can just run out to the gate or run through the gate uh, into the manor. Yes. Are you looking to go inside, like past the guard? Or are you trying to stop this guard? Uh, I think she's wanting to do as little damage as possible and get into Sorry the gate with the hope that um, once we're all through, she can close the gate on the guards and leave them outside. <laughs> uh, the gate was blasted off its hinges. Yeah, I oh, kind of blasted open the gate. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he 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 kind of did Little artificer reparable. things and like did a bit of, big explosion. Big explode. Uh, yeah, I think. Well, then, I can't see her leaving Josh behind. So maybe can I hold my movement until Josh has a turn and just do my actions in the moment? Sure. Why not? Uh, what are your actions going to be then? Uh, I'll just um. Hit them both with my sword, please. Okay. Uh, the the ones that are at the gate? Yes, yeah. Okay, there's yeah. still two, uh, right? Yeah, there's one still ten. two. So attack one and then attack the other with advantage because the other one is restrained. Oh, perfect. Okay, so um, I got a nat 20. Yo! Oh, yay! Yay! Huge! Yeah. Now, this is the best time to smite because... With the crit, uh, he, the way I rule crits, um, because sometimes crits can be underwhelming where you roll, you know, double the dice and then you roll all ones. And it it's just not fun. Uh, the way I rule crits, you're still going to roll one d set of dice for damage, but you're adding that on top of the maximum damage those dice can roll. Oh. So if you're rolling a... D8, like 3d8 for a level one smite and your longsword, then that would be a baseline of 24 damage. Then you add whatever you roll and your modifiers on top of that. Oh, amazing. Sick. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that for sure. Okay. Yeah, just, for, sure, so, for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So you'll burn a level one spell slot for a smite and then roll 3d8 yep. and add your strength modifier and then add 24. 
and non-lethally kick this person's head <laughs> off their shoulders. Yep. Non-lethally, though. Non-lethally, non non-lethal, yeah. non-lethally knocked into next week. No. Yeah, it's yep. like how Batman doesn't kill anybody, but he does drop them off six-story buildings. Exactly. Yep, he <laughs> does put them in, like, permanent hospice. Yeah. I'm not going to kill you. You're never going to remember your kid's name again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, like every Prepare hero. Was- Mm-hmm. Pre- prepare to receive a genre a genre fre- friendly concussion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just getting my uh, calculator because. Yeah, absolutely. Um, math. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so how much damage? Forty-two. Forty-two. That's Forty-two non-lethal straight... damage. That's straight 42. up her max. Yeah, that was her max health. Um, so, uh, straight up, uh, the one who's in the web, you just swing your sword with the flat of your blade, which smacks with the concussive force of a thousand suns and, uh, knocks her out. Her body just goes limp in the webs. Yep. Oh, you, n- you non-lethally build this person a coffin As and you... put them inside of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a crash of thunder, a blazing flash of light. Uh, as you knock this guard out, the one that was standing next to Josh sees this fully. Uh, roll an intimidation check for me, Jax. Let's, look, we're, we're, we're currently standing inside a YA novel. No one, no one dies. No, no, yeah, no dies. they're not dead. They'll wake up in a f- few hours. They're sleeping, and yeah. they'll be reborn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, when intimidation we wander into was a was a, f- oh, uh, was a ten. Ten. Cool. Uh, she is I rolled still a Not 10 plus zero for their wisdom resistance and attacker wins. So the two guards that hear this <laughs> and turn around to see their buddy just go boom across the courtyard and then skid into the dirt, fully unmoving. They drop their swords and raise their hands. And that's and we're out of combat as they surrender. What would you like to do with the, uh, the two remaining conscious ones? I think Jax will just say, go home to your families. You deserve, you deserve a break. And forget yes, you ma'am. ever saw this. Saw what? As they run away. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and you guys enter the Claustrum Manor. Uh, there's no more guards inside because it's a gated community. And frankly, uh, uh, Hera's mom doesn't want to see that those kinds of people on her uh, nice hardwood and marble flooring. I mean, are you kidding me? Um, the commoners, the working class inside my walls? No. Uh, and then you all, bam, kick down the door, step in. She's uh, there having tea, looks at all of you. Oh, heavens. What do you this do? This was going to be a lot more clever, but we but we made a bit of a mess outside. Quarter pounder yeah. with pickles. <laughs> Uh, Daffodil Pickle time. appears. I slid open the bag of bones and dumped them on the floor, and I say, Pickles, do it right here! And then I hold the bag <laughs> open. Um, I wanted to say my cool entrance line. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No, please, please, please. You got time. You got time. You. Um, I'm, still, I'm still holding the bag. Here's Johnny. And then, into the bag. <laughs> yeah, uh, you fully... Uh, a, uh, Thank you. You know, twig of an old woman, uh, of an old woman, uh, like fully human, just a normal person who's never done a day of work in her life. You just pick her up and toss her into the extra dimensional sack and kidnap uh, this old lady. And uh, with her tucked away, we fast forward a little bit as you return. Yeah, freeze frame into a montage as you go back uh hera starts doing paperwork uh as her mother has been tragically kidnapped uh by uh you know te- lorian terrorists and she must uh, gather the realm's power and the-, the lords must come to flock to her power and they turn on the council uh with that uh with the strength of the lords behind her uh, with the strength of the Queen's Guard uh, at her beck and call, uh, Hera's done taking orders from everybody and wages war on the undercourt uh, as you manage to get uh, the proper court back into uh, good standing and 
uh, Alethia uh, goes to war with uh, the Queen's Guard and the Upper Realm's army. And since they're just a bunch of, like, dudes who are basically just red-pilled... Uh, sad boys. Sad boys. <laughs> uh, just get their asses handed to them by this army of badass women. Um, and that is your work in this realm done. And uh, yeah. Daffodil Pickle, uh, you get a message from Helga saying, I believe that... Uh, the strain on the barriers that I've been holding has weakened a tad. Whatever you're doing seems to be working, and Feast is, well, not nearly as formidable as it used to be. Keep going. Thank you all so much for tuning in and unwrapping this special edition Dungeons & Dragons episode of CamCat Unwrapped Into the Margins. That is a mouthful. You can find all of our unputdownable CamCat books at camcatbooks.com or wherever books are sold. You can also find all of us who were in the show today in the social links down below. They're going to be appearing magically. <laughs> and we'll see you all in two weeks in the next episode.